Diddy's got some serious dirt on Beyonce and Jay-Z, and it's not the kind of stuff you'd expect from Queen B. B. Diddy has some major tea on Beyonce and Jay-Z, and that is what the Deluxe posted, girl. Let me show you. I'm not, no cap, look. And it's not the kind Get ready, get ready. Jay-Z, and it's not the kind Diddy's got some serious dirt on Beyonce and Jay-Z, and it's not the kind of stuff you'd expect from Queen B. The Carters turned their backs on Diddy when he needed them the most. Right there. Beyonce and Jay-Z turned their backs on P. Diddy when he needed them the most. And guess what? I have receipts. Those will be made, and I just want to say this. Videos will be made. Boom, 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 boom. There are videos of Beyonce. Allegedly, she's drunk at the P. Diddy party. Allegedly, Jay-Z is there, and there were a, a party where everybody was naked, running around. Confirmed by Khloe Kardashian. We have that receipt, too, and the video footage from her show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, where she says she was out partying. You know they were all there, girl, okay? The thing is, that is very shocking to this, is that it's very telling of the type of character that P. Diddy is to hold on to these videos, in my opinion, as blackmail. And I don't think that's cute. I mean, you could do it, but it ain't cute. It is not legal. So if P. Diddy goes down and he goes to jail, trust and believe that if he goes down, he will pay someone to leak those videos out. This is someone who paid over $50,000 to buy the footage from the hotel. This right here is very, 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 very bad. Now, I'm gonna show you the receipts because we have them right here. This was posted by Deluxe, so grab a snack and come on back. Here we go, Rose. Diddy's got some serious dirt on Beyonce and Jay-Z, and it's not the kind of stuff you'd expect from Queen B. The Carters turned their backs on Diddy when he needed them the most, and Diddy's salty. So now Diddy's taking Beyonce down with him, and he has all the proof he needs. You will not believe the evidence Diddy has told P. Diddy drama. It's speaking volumes, and it's not just them. Other big names in Diddy's circles are staying tight-lipped too. We've all seen the pics and videos of Beyonce and Jay kicking it with P. Diddy, but when it comes to defending their buddy or addressing these allegations, they're zipped up. Sean P. Diddy Combs isn't playing games. He's ready to bring down the Carters, and he is not holding back. Rumor has it that Jay-Z had a thing going on with Kathy White, who unfortunately passed away back in 2010, while allegedly carrying Jay-Z's child. Word on the street is, this juicy info is coming from a retired medical assistant who used to work for Kathy's OBGYN. They're itching to spill the tea to either the authorities or the media. And guess when all this drama unfolded? Right around the time Beyonce was expecting Blue Ivy, Kathy White was gearing up to spill the beans about her fling with Jay-Z before Beyonce's big VMA pregnancy reveal. You can bet that sent Shockwave through Jay-Z's PR team. Keeping that squeaky clean image intact suddenly got a whole lot trickier. Now, here's where it gets even more scandalous. Remember Claudia Jordan's bestie? Yeah, she's no longer with us. And it seems Jay-Z's name is tangled up in that tragedy, too. But before you dismiss this as just another baseless rumor, consider what Kanye West dropped on stage during the St. Pablo tour. He straight up called out Jay-Z, hinting at some shady dealings and killers for hire. Jay-Z, call me, bro! You still ain't called me! And it doesn't stop there. Jay-Z is allegedly tied to the demise of rapper Big Al, a rising star from New York. Some say jealousy played a role, especially when it came to his relationship with Aaliyah. Now, let's talk Epstein Island. Both Beyonce and Jay-Z's names popped up on that infamous list. There's a whole rabbit hole to dive into there, but for now, the spotlight's on Diddy. People are on their toes, waiting for Diddy to drop a list of names, and they're saying, I'm waiting for Diddy to finally spill all the dirt on who was riding with him, who was in his circle behind the scenes, and I'm waiting for him to tell it all about J-Lo, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, Usher, these politicians, and the rest of them, so we can know who really was involved in all this BS, because I'm tired of it all. Diddy's got the inside scoop on Beyonce and Jay-Z's shady dealings, and he's not afraid to use it to take them down. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Okay. I'm very shocked by the whole thing. I really, I really, really am shocked by the whole thing. So, uh, oops, I dropped my foundation. I'm using the, uh, today, the Lady Gaga House Labs. I love this foundation. It's really, it's like this triclone thing. I love the formula. I'll link it down below in the YouTube shop. And then I went over it with cream bronzer, which is the Milani. And I'll link with the Cheek Kiss. It's amazing. I'll link this down below as well. And one more thing, La Mer, I'm hydrated. Link that down below as well. I love La Mer. You guys know me, I've been using it for a long time. A lot of people say, I don't like La Mer, but I like it, girl. Anyways, okay. What will, let's just say, let's hypothetically speaking, this video comes out, right? I already know Beyonce following her pattern of behavior, she's not gonna respond. 
Okay, Beyonce has never been in major drama. Major drama. And when she is in any type of drama, she doesn't respond to it. Remember the hair? Remember when they were calling out about her hair being fake when she was washing it? They said she was washing a wig or something like that. That's just very bad news. That's very bad vibes, right? Honestly, Jay-Z, I think, has enough to retaliate. And when these people retaliate, they're not going to retaliate against P. Diddy. They're going to go after the sons, the moms, the dogs, stuff like the people they care about. This is going to get messy if they start retaliating and being sneaky and sending goons and paying people to do this and that. I'm actually quite shocked that a lot of people on social media, and you guys know who I'm talking about, they'll sit up there and they'll be like, well, PDD has videos. PDD's gonna expose Beyonce. PDD, all right, we all seen people say that. But why not turn the tables and look at it from this perspective? Beyonce got coins. Jay-Z has coins. J-Lo has coin taras. They all have coins. These people can easily send one of their goons to take care of P. Diddy, okay? And if once they knock him out, who's around P. Diddy who might leak the foot tape? You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, there's a lot going on behind the scenes secretly that we don't even know about. It's like a game of chess and they're watching who's about to move. They're watching who's making moves. Let's pay Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion to start some beef. Very much that, all right? It's a lot of reflect and deflect. Let's see what's gonna happen. And I'm telling you, P. Diddy is a sneaky snake and he will have those. If he's pushed into a corner, he will release the tapes and it will be Beyonce doing some things at a party and Jay-Z doing things at a party too. And everyone else who was there. Was Nelly there too? Okay, French Montana confirmed was there by Khloe Kardashian back when they were dating. Kim Kardashian just get exposed for being on those freak off tapes Diddy loved to make. Yes. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. Ever since Diddy got exposed by Cassie, it's been one legal drama after the other. His friends and all the people who've been covering for him are getting ready to face some serious consequences. And word on the street is, Kim Kardashian might be one of those friends. If you've been following the drama surrounding Diddy, the feds found a lot of shady stuff in Diddy's homes. Here's the thing, there's been no proof of exactly what was found in Diddy's homes, but according to Lil Rod's lawsuit, we know he had a lot of cameras set up all over his homes, and we know he had a lot of famous people over at both of his homes for parties. From what we know so far, Diddy's parties were far from innocent. They've been said to involve a lot of alcohol and drugs, and most importantly, a lot of people doing things that weren't exactly legal. Some of those things Diddy had people do in his homes were freak-offs. Here's where things get interesting. If Diddy kept the recordings of the freak-offs in his homes, it's not hard to imagine that the feds found it. In fact, the fans have a reason to believe the feds uncovered many tapes from Diddy's homes, especially because of that clip of Diddy roughing Cassie up. Now, we know Diddy paid the hotel security $50,000 to give him that recording right. According to Cassie's lawsuit, upon information and belief, Mr. Combs paid the Intercontinental Century City $50,000 for the hallway security footage from that evening. So since Diddy paid for the tape, it's easy to say that he had the only recording of that incident. I mean, with what we know so far about Diddy, it's not beyond him to make sure other recordings, if they even existed in the first place, are destroyed. And word on the street is, the feds were the ones that gave CNN the tape so it can help them when his trial begins, and Cassie is brought to testify against him. The fact that the tape is out there backs up a few of the claims she made in the lawsuit, which makes her more believable to a jury. The streets are now saying a tape of Diddy and Kim Kardashian having a freak-off was among the tapes the feds found at Diddy's homes. Listen, at this point, we all know that Kim Kardashian unfollowed Diddy 24 hours before the feds raided his homes. Kim Kardashian stopped following Diddy 24 hours prior to the raid. And that's also when she ended a relationship. Which basically means that she knew trouble was coming for Diddy before everyone else. But that's not even the worst of it. Fans have now uncovered a video of the Kardashian sisters attending a naked Diddy party. She was out of it. She drank it. Yeah, but last night. She didn't go to bed. I haven't been to bed yet. You haven't? I want to meet Chloe when I grow up, of course. In the video, Chloe could be heard talking about partying all night with her then boyfriend, French Montana. She then goes ahead to say that everybody at that party was not wearing any clothes. Wait, there's more. In the same video, Courtney, who seems to be the only Kardashian sister who was not at this party, asked Chloe if Diddy, his son Quincy, and Justin Bieber were at the party, and Chloe responded saying that was correct. Diss. 
So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber, so far so good. Montana. So if Kim, Chloe, and the rest of the Car Jenner sisters were partying in the nude with Diddy, there might be a recording of it somewhere. And word on the street is that one of the tapes has Kim and Diddy having a freak off in it. As usual, the fans have had something to say about this, with one fan pointing out that the fact that Kim was married to Kanye at the time makes it worse. And at the end of the day, that's what people get for going to Diddy freak off. He's been doing these parties for a long time, and rumors get back, so if you know, you know, and just think if you did go, and you went in a room with somebody that was married and you was married too and you didn't want nobody to know and all the time it was cameras in the room. Wow. Diddy can blackmail and extort a lot of people because he has a lot of stuff on a lot of people. Right, Quincy, confirm right, Khloe Kardashian? It's, it's a lot. And when this first broke, I was getting messages and DMs like, oh girl, it's a mess. There's a lot of celebrities who are there. They're all going down. It's a lot of drama. And I was like, oh yeah. And I am shocked that till this day, we are still talking about this till this day. We are still, I mean, let's not forget, yeah, right here. Not the Look. Yeah, and it's not the kind of, Diddy's got some serious dirt on Beyonce and Jay-Z. And it's not the kind of stuff you'd expect from Queen B. The Carters turn. Mm-hmm. Is not the kind of receipts that you expect. So let's talk about it. Who else? People are so quick to say Beyonce, Jay-Z, Jennifer Lopez, Khloe Kardashian. Uh, but I think, I have a feeling that it's going to be somebody is going to come out and say something. Just wait. You know I am a psychic drama channel. But not only that, what really upsets me, and I've been saying this in mostly all these videos I'm making, is how come Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce, Jay-Z, how come they are not stepping up and saying something? How come they are not saying, I stand behind Cassie? How come they're not saying, when I used to did this gig with P. Diddy, I felt weird vibes, he made me feel uncomfortable, and I never wanted to say anything because, you know, X, Y, and Z, I didn't want to rock the boat. And let's talk about Aaliyah, and, and so much, it is deep, guys. What saddens me the most is Jennifer Lopez. And I, and I know, y'all, you don't like Jennifer Lopez. No, Jennifer Lopez is fine. I'll go to her stupid concerts in Las Vegas, I'll go support. But like, I just feel like, She's the one who let me down the most. Not Beyonce, not Jay-Z. Jay <sighs> Jennifer Lopez let me down the most because I've known her to be close to P. Diddy, all right? She knows something. She was there for a lot of it. But this time, it's not about his jams or flashy lifestyle. That crime could be reopened and say, this is a RICO predicate act, and then you add a couple more acts under the, you know, and certainly that 1999 could be the cornerstone of a case like that. Homeland Security was turning up the heat, raiding Diddy in LA and Miami as part of a big probe, aiming to uncover some serious dirt. Everything kicked off when some witnesses spilled the tea about seeing Diddy acting very suspicious outside the airport hours after the raid. But this is just the tip of the iceberg, involving more people in the RICO case. More than one person, multiple people who are unrelated to each other, who make similar allegations of this type of conduct being conducted by him, not by somebody else, but by him, both in civil suits and in criminal. Flashback to 1999 when Diddy and his then girlfriend JLo found themselves in club that left the whole city in shock. The trigger was pulled and were flying, leaving three people. Rumor has it that he might have been carrying heat, that he even someone in the face during that incident and JLo was right there by his side. When the dust settled down, police uncovered a stolen piece hidden in their ride. The creepy choices she made on her walk to fame have just started leaking and people are shocked to say the least. Besides staying with Diddy and agreeing to be a part of his heavy controversial lifestyle, JLo decided to go through so much muddier waters, with even creepier people by her side. And worldwide known diva did it all to fulfill her dream of being famous. Talk about real dedication. But it seems like the past always finds a way back to haunt you when you least expect it. Goodbye JLo, nice knowing you. Not talented much, but always in the spotlight like you wanted. Her past has come back to haunt her. JLo must be freaking out right now, lol. These partners in crime didn't exactly stroll off scot-free. They got locked up, slapped with cuffs, and hit with charges for their part in drama. While Diddy's bodyguard Jones walked free, jury threw the book at Young Reaper Shine for possession even though no one ever got pinned for pulling the trigger that night. Assumptions are swirling about Diddy throwing some serious accusations from and buying power, pulling others in his dangerous game as well. J-Lo wasn't just an innocent bystander. It's more like she was a pawn for his goals. Who could even imagine that after all this, Diddy might finally answer for all of his wrongdoings? 
just before the feds burst into his property, seriously shocking allegations were presented. His ex, singer Cassie, slew a lawsuit against the hip-hop mogul for some serious violent behavior she endured over a decade. That's according to her civil suit filed back in November, where she laid out some pretty serious allegations, like that Diddy her, sometimes so severely that she had to hide out in hotels for days at a time waiting for the bruises to heal. After just one day, the case was closed and they reached terms that satisfied both sides. It seems like Cassie's accusations alone weren't good enough to get Diddy behind bars for good. There were very is serious allegations in that lawsuit. I would be surprised if that lawsuit and those allegations were not part of the current investigation, and I've never seen a civil lawsuit settled that quickly. That means that Diddy's people wanted that thing to go away. They did not want it talked about in the media. They wanted it settled and gone very, very quickly. His old crime file might just be cracking open again, adding new acts under the rug waiting to be uncovered. That 1999 could be the cornerstone of a case like that. Diddy broke his silence on social media with a post of his daughter celebrating Easter, but hasn't commented publicly on the case yet. It's all a waiting game now, and plot twists are expected. Whether And now she's just radio silent still. Jennifer Lopez is getting a lot of backlash right now. All she has to do is say, P. Diddy made me feel uncomfortable. I was there for this. I didn't want to speak up at the time. I was an up-and-coming star. I didn't want to mess up my chance. I stand behind Cassie. Do a freaking song with Cassie. Bring her on your tour. I would go. Oh my God, yes. Beyonce, I don't really hold her to the flame because she's she's never been the one to speak out anyway. She don't really, like, she don't really, she's not in the drama, right? Jennifer Lopez plays the game. One minute she was Ben Affleck, divorcing Ben Affleck, coming out with movies, documentaries, Netflix. She does the whole the whole tour thing, right? I'm telling you, it's gonna be somebody that's gonna come out and they're gonna say, this is my experience and these people were there. I can only speak for me. So if they wanna speak out, they can, but this is how it went down for me. Boom, 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 right? Not to mention you got the Kim Porter drama. And if anyone knows about the Kim Porter stuff, just type it down in the comments down below so other people can read it. But let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. This is Rich Lux with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube.